Hello! So some of you, um, I said, well, some of you wanted me to do a video on the shop, and I actually did promise you guys that I was going to do that. Uh, so we're going to do that today, like what the best items in the shop are and stuff and how to spend your coins, right? So I mentioned this kind of like my original video about uh, this event, uh, but uh, we have, right, the sunken chest. These are your random uh, caskets, and I'm going to be opening some of these in this video. And then you have the rest of the soul box. This has a... Uh, Kark, Sebastian, Morgan, Corvus for Phobos, and Satori Souls. This is really good. Like, if you don't have Sebastian, buy at least six of these so you can get the 30 souls to unlock Sebastian. Buy more. Like, you know, save these. Like I said, get, use six now to unlock Sebastian, but you can save these for, like, the next event. There's going to be, like, a summer event here in a month or two uh, where you'll have to unlock, like, a thousand souls or something for all the quests. So you might want to buy a few of these, save them. Like, you know, Sebastian's 100% worth it. Uh, this is a good way to get him. Uh, you have skins, right? I bought the Sebastian skin for 18 and 50 but uh, these are kind of crazy. It might be better just to spend the 5,000 skin stones on the skin, but uh, if you have extra coins, you don't really know what else to spend them on. It's okay to spend them on the skin because that's kind of the main thing, but uh, what you really also have, though, is like you have some of these items. Right, can score course, 50 isn't too bad, um, but uh, then you got the Flaming Heart, Pastor Seal, Hand of Glory, Mentor's Head, 1,000 each. Those aren't too bad of prices. Uh, those aren't too hard to farm, though. But uh, you might want to buy a few of those. But uh, I think the best value for those coins is going to be uh, like the Alchemist set, the Enigmas Chronicles, Harunian Helm, Lycanthrope's Vein, and the Throwing Knives. Those five items you will use a lot once you get to the orange and red tiers of items. You will use a lot of these items, right? So buying a few of these with your coins is well worth it just kind of look at what your heroes your heroes that uh you're working on see which ones you need right and buy a few of those for later like you can always find out what items your heroes need you just go to a hero you go to items and you'll see the full list of items that hero needs throughout all their tiers right so that's a good way you can find out just by clicking them what you need to make them etc so right so that might be something to consider just kind of to see what you need uh for these different uh, heroes that you're working on and then buy accordingly right but uh, the red items they're a bit more pricey uh, these could be worth it but uh right especially if you can't farm them yet because these could be farmed in chapters 14 and 15 you can also get them in the tower once you're level 120 plus but uh you know 200 shards to make these like I said I mean some of these ones aren't that hard to farm once you get to chapter 14 but, like I said, if you can't farm them yet or struggling 14, you might want to buy a few of these as well. But uh, let's get some of these. Let's buy like 50 of them. See what we get. No, that's not it. Sunken chest. Parts chest from last year on the Zeke Karksatory for of Souls. That's from last year's Dark Depths event. Alright, so let's see what we get. Sunken chests. So you get more of these, you get coins, runes, gold, meh, coins, runes, chaos core, mm. energy potion, XP potion, titan potion, <gasps> ooh, ooh, uniques, need uniques, all right, look at that, I still have 50. All right. Let's speed this up. It's going to take forever. All right. So, oh, you can get those two boss artifact chests. Those are really good. It's probably the best item in these. Besides, well, more sunken chests are always good. Well, and besides uniques, always want the uniques. So I'll probably want to buy a few more of these, figure out how many uniques there are. Sunken chest. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best item. All right, I wasn't doing so good the last couple of these to get more. Okay, look at that, it's got 14 still.
All right, 16, good. We can keep doing this forever. Yeah, these could be okay. I mean, especially if you don't know what else to buy. Or this is probably where most of my coins will go because I don't really need... Ooh, I got did really good on Sunk Chest. This one went back up to 26. Right, I mean, the main thing I'm left would be after is like unique. So this will probably be where I spend a lot of my coins. But if you need those orange items, especially is like, you know, buy those in Sebastian Souls. If your Sebastian's not absolute star yet, definitely buy some of those. Like at least buy enough to summon him. But uh, Sebastian is so important. Like he is literally the best hero in the game and you should definitely buy his souls. And this is a good opportunity for that. More of those. I'll take all those. Skin stones, I mean, not a lot of skin stones, but they do add up, so. We're almost out of sunken chests. Uh, uh, All right, so that's what's in the sunken chests. Um, let's see, anything else I wanted to comment about? No, I think that's just about it. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you for watching.